What's going on YouTube? It's Thomas from the Barber Style Directory and welcome back to another video. The haircut that I'm doing in this video, this is your bread and butter haircut. This is the first type of haircut that you should learn to do. And it's called a Caesar or it's formerly known as an even all over. So I'm gonna basically just cut the hair down to one level and I'm gonna give him a lineup all the way around his head. Don't forget about our 50K subscriber giveaway. So if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do that. And don't forget to check out the blog associated with this video. So just click the link below. And without further ado, let's get into the video. The reason that I'm spraying alcohol on his hairline is that that's to remove any dirt or oil that he may have around his forehead. And here I'm just combing the hair into its natural state. And we're going to be cutting the hair down with the one guard. Notice how I start cutting from the crown. This is a one even cut, so the steps are really simple. It's really only one step, to be honest, but you just want to make sure that you get the hair cut nice and even. So the hair grows from the crown and you want to make sure that you start your strokes from the top of the head. And if you pay attention to how I'm holding the clippers, I'm not digging into his forehead. I'm really letting the clipper, I'm holding the clipper flush to his head. So I'm letting that do the work. I'm not trying to force it to cut off any extra hair. I'm just really letting it glide with the shape of his head. And we still want to keep his waves. That's why we're not going lower than the number one. And if you'll notice, he, his corners are a little light, but you'll see me kind of stay away from that because I want to leave that as dark as possible. And like I said, I'm just going with this natural wave pattern. The crown grows in a swirl, so you want to make sure before you start cutting, make sure that you comb the hair in the way that it, that it naturally grows. See how I'm holding his ear down, making sure that I get the hair right above his ear. A lot of you may be wondering why I keep going back over the same spots. Like I said, this is an even haircut, so I really want to make sure that the hair is nice and smooth. Notice how I'm paying close attention to the crown. That area is really easy to gap, so you want to make sure that you take your time. And I'm not giving him a taper or anything, but really I'm just lightening this area just a little bit just to smooth it down. The temple area, it has a tendency, the hairs want to stick out after a couple of days. So I'm just trying to smooth that down. And I'm doing the same thing in the back. You know, everybody, they don't like, not everyone will like a taper or a fade. Some people just like it simple and even. And he's just one of those guys. And there's nothing wrong with that. He's been getting his hair cut for years. Now what this is, this is some foaming lotion. It's really setting lotion for the most part. It just lays the hair down. And here you see me take a comb and distribute it even, evenly through the hair. And then right after that, I just brush it in to lay, the, to lay the hair back down. And here I'm just blow drying it in. And this, this product also kind of works like a spritz in a way. It makes the hair stand still. And here we just proceed on with the lineup. And you know my motto by now, keep it natural. You wanna find that nice balance between natural and sharp. A lot of people have trouble lining around the ear, but I always tell people the key is keeping the, is using the corner of the blade. 
Never try to use the entire blade when you're going around the ear. Just use the corners. See, I'm using the corners. And here we're gonna make the arch. You don't want to exaggerate it too much, but you just want to give him a nice curve. And now we're moving on to the vertical bars. And you, one thing you'll see me do a lot, I'll comb the hair outwards towards the forehead just so I make sure whenever he brushes his hair I don't want any straggler hairs to come back over his line that's why you always see me comb the hair out Now, some people have a very sensitive neck, so that's why I always stress that it's important not to have your trimmers too sharp. Like I said, I set my trimmers to where they can, they, they're all around trimmers. They can line anything from anybody from kids to adults in any type of sensitive skin or regular skin. And here we're just repeating the same process as the other side. As you can see, I'm not trying to dig in. I'm just trying to keep it as low as possible, but still get a straight line. And now I'm just putting the finishing touches up on the haircut with the razor. And guys, this is definitely the first haircut that you need to learn how to do. You have to get this haircut down pat. But yeah guys, this is the finished product. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.